everybody, this is Perch. Um, do we are we too hard on Marvel? No, but seriously, I, I mean, the funny thing is, if you look at videos, if you look at blogs, if you look at social media, if you look at complaints, um, Marvel takes it on the chin constantly for art quality, for uh, stories, for how they engage with their people, and it's you start to at least wonder. Uh, you know, is is it just is it fashionable to dump on Marvel? I, I've I've asked myself this question. I've gotten this question from people, and you know, I, I think things go in phases. I think it's a little fashionable right now to dump on DC as well. Uh, but at the same time, have you ever heard the expression like "leading with your jaw"? Like it it is hard to say. You know what? People need to take it easy on Marvel. I mean, they're a company doing the best they can, and, and some of these things are mistakes, but I mean, people are way too, made too sensitive about this stuff. And it's like, hey, Marvel editorial, without communicating to the artist, drew uh, weird little googly eyes on uh, a good artist's work, screwing it up. <laughs> like, you're like, uh, you know, it's hard to defend that. It's hard to go, well, you know, boys will be boys, mistake. Like, hey, and, uh, you know, over at D.C., nobody's talking to anybody. It's like, oh, you know, it's, uh, I'm sure they're doing their best over there. Eventually, it starts to get like, God damn it, what is going on over there? And that's, that's what a lot of this stuff feels like when it comes to those big companies. They are, um, you know, I, I'm sure in many cases there are people doing their best, trying to just get through the day, you know, miscommunication. I mean, you think about your job. And think about COVID and think about how goofy and screwed up it's been with like, am I supposed to come to work? Am I supposed to wear a mask? Is Are they going to outsource my job and replace me with a robot that can't get a disease? Like all this kind of, I mean, like there's a lot of questions and guarantee, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not making a guess here. I know from talking to people at Marvel, they've got all those questions plus others like, Hey, uh, at what point is Disney publishing just going to come in here and take a lot of our jobs? And uh, Hey, when's Kevin Feige? Uh, who was doing a lot of rumblings about making some big changes and then kind of got quiet for a while when the pandemic hit. When's he coming back around again? And I mean, definitely there's that paralysis in the company, no doubt about it. Um, but so, I, so I'm of two minds of it. I, I think that, yes, I think it becomes a knee-jerk reaction sometimes to go after Marvel and DC. Um, but at the same time, they, they, they certainly, like if you had, like on a construction site, like zero days since the last accident, if you were doing, and I think there was a website for a while that was like, how many days since Marvel did something stupid? And, it, you know, you, you'd be resetting that thing a lot. <laughs> like, there there would be no shortage of, uh, you know, of, of needing to kind of reset that counter. That's just, that's the world we live in. Uh, these companies make stupid-ass choices. And, you know, I... I you, there's people around who are like, oh, come on, don't be so hard on them. And it's like, okay, okay, I, you're right, you're right, we shouldn't we should be too hard. And it's like, wait, wait, they did what again? You know, it's like the Eddie Brazanga situation. And it's like, uh, well, we heard there was maybe a problem. So what we did was we got the, you know, the we got the women away from him in the office. We just didn't put any women on those books because, uh, you know, we didn't want to have trouble. So we just got rid of the women. So there wouldn't be any trouble. And you're like, yeah, that was a bad choice. That was a bad, a little bit hard for me to say, ah, oh, come on, you're being too hard on old DC when it's like, what the, what the F are you doing? Like, <laughs> there's, there's just a lot of that that goes on. Um, I, I, I will also say this, and, you know, this is one of those, and I've done videos, I've talked a little bit about this. It, by the way, I don't think my point that I'm making I don't think my point ever really goes over terribly well. Um, it, I don't think I don't think people necessarily understand what I'm what I'm saying. Um, it is that when you're in charge, when you're a leader, when you're one of the big boys, you do have greater responsibility. You have greater, you know, you, yeah, you you don't get kind of the the advantage of being able to say, well, I'm small, I'm figuring it out. You know, when you're in in college. And you get hammered, and you uh, you know you, you you pass out on the lawn of your frat house in a pool of your own vomit. And you wake up the next day and you're like, ah, oh, crap, my clothes were ruined, and I'm not going to make it to class today. I mean, you, granted, you look like an idiot, but that thing's not going to stain you for the rest of your life. 
it's not you're not going to lose your job. You're just you know it's a you, you you get some allowances because you're still figuring it out. If you go get a job, like you go you know start working at Google, and well this may not be true because I I know some people at Google who have done this, but I mean like if you go if you go start working at Google. And you get hammered, and then you just vomit all over the hallways and pass out, you know, in, in front of the elevator. Now you're probably getting fired. If not, you know, definitely HR is going to come around and be like, so, you have a drinking problem. I mean, there's definitely going to be some follow-up. And it's, you know, because the, the, the rules have changed. You, you're now a professional. You don't, you don't get the allowance of, you know, figuring it out. If Black Mass Studios uh, or Aftershock, makes a mistake in their comics, you know, you can say, eh, you know, that's not good. They should, you wish they hadn't done that. Or, you know, I, I mean, you, you can make a lot of comments about, you know, that, uh, you know, they, they should do better. But when Marvel makes the same mistakes, it's a little, you know, it's, it's like, you definitely should do better. You've got more funding, you've got more people, you have more, you have more of everything. So amateur level mistakes that are happening at the indies don't really, you know, occur to you. It's one of those reasons why, by the way, and, and feel free to, you know, use this, whatever argument you want to make every now and then I notice some, you know, a fairly well-known comic professional or company or editor who wants to take shots at a crowdfunding book. Now I'm not talking about the ideology of whoever's behind the crowdfunding book or if they made mean videos or whatever, whatever that's it. But just like, the art quality, or if the staples were in right, or you know the if if the type was set just right, and I watch these guys uh, dunk on you know not just indie comic creators but literally individuals, like oh look at this dumbass can't even use a font right, and and you're right, crowdfunded book that's going for twenty five bucks should have quality and should look good and shouldn't have these kinds of mistakes absolutely. I don't think anyone, I don't, nobody in their right mind is going to defend that. However, I do think there's a different bar from, you know, Joe, the guy who's making a comic, uh, Joe, not Joe Corallo, but Joe, Joe, somebody in their basement making a comic book and shipping it out as best they can, raising, you know, $1,000 to do it versus Marvel, the multi, you know, million entity with a billion dollar IP franchise making those mistakes. I, I, I just think that, I'm sorry, it's a different scale. I, I, mistakes are bad, but when you're big, you're held to a different standard. That, that's just, that's what it is. That's why it's different. If you're a candidate running for political office, you are held to a different standard than when you actually get the job. When you get the job, you know, as they say, shit gets real. You gotta, you gotta actually be able to do the job. And you can't sit there and go, well, it's not fair. I mean, they, nobody was worried about this stuff before. It's like, yeah, you didn't have the job. Um, you know, I, I watch Marvel go, ah, it's just comic book. What's the big deal? And then turn around and want to beat up on some, you know, rando who's making a couple hundred bucks off a of Kickstarter. I mean, it's like, you know, you, you do realize you're playing in a different space. And because you're playing in a different space, you, you know, you, you, you have to own it. That's, that's what, you know, being in that position means. So do people uh, dump on Marvel and DC too? Uh, I mean, yeah, a little bit. I think there's, like I said, I think there's a knee jerk reaction that takes place. Like, uh, I, I, I definitely think there's, there's some truth to that. Um, at the same time, you know, get, get your, get your crap together. I mean, you, you are a multi, you know, you're, you're a multi million multi-billion in some cases if you if you count everything company and you know you you don't get the luxury of saying well you know i'm, I'm just trying my best I'll, I'll do better next time you gotta you gotta actually do better the first time anyway that's uh that's my perspective on it so you know could people do better yeah yeah they could um you know maybe don't immediately jump to you know, right away that, uh, you know, these companies are broken and bad and all the rest. I mean, I, I, yeah, there's, you know, it doesn't need to be immediately war, but you know, when you're big, you get big boy problems, right? Car. Yeah. My car agrees. Anyway, thanks for listening.